What's up guys? So I'm out here today riding with my nephew, Logan. Hello. Got the Z400 and the 250X. Looking pretty clean. Full HMF, Elkas, full flights. Anyway, we figured, uh, well, I've been taking them riding the past few times and I got these little helmet communicator uh, Bluetooth intercom things. Um, I was gonna buy the Cardos, but they were like 550 bucks and I saw these had really good reviews on Amazon. So I figured I would uh, give it a go. Um, kind of had um, my skeptic, you know, a little skeptic, uh, a little skeptical about it, but um, they were, I think they were like 150 bucks and it comes with two of them. Uh, you can do up to four and I'll get on that in a, in a second here, but they're pretty cool. You, uh, you do have to take the padding out of your helmet. Um, you put the speakers, you, they kind of have like stick on glue with Velcro inside the helmet. Um, and then you run the wires behind the padding. There's speakers on both sides. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then there's a microphone. And you have a couple different options you can use with the microphone. I kind of like the boom one. It's just kind of, you can adjust it to where you need to. Um, and it's really cool because you can, uh, you can connect this to your phone and uh, make phone calls. You can listen to music, or if you're riding with a buddy or a friend, you can uh, talk to them. And you can do up to four of them. Uh, if you're just connecting two, it's very simple. You just turn them on and you press the intercom button and they link up. If you're doing four, or if you're doing two or more, it's a little more complicated. And the problem with doing more than two is, however you link them up is how you have to ride in order for them to all communicate so if you're doing like three whoever links up first has to be in the back and then it just kind of goes like that whereas when you're just doing two it doesn't matter one can be in the front or anything like that so both of us were kind of like whatever um but we started riding with it we probably had them we've been riding for about 45 minutes now and we were actually kind of both blown away they're both really uh they, they go pretty far you can hear each other really clearly even over the engine um and in and, and the in the distance is still pretty far even in the woods i think it started to break up and crack around like a quarter of a mile something like that like i was but i was mainly we were when we were in some deep woods if you were out in the open like in the dunes or on the road or something it would uh it, they supposedly will stay linked up up to a mile um, and then if it does have to reconnect, they reconnect on their own. Like when you, when they come back in distance or when you turn them on and off, they, they reconnect. So, uh, yeah, we're going to, I'm going to put the GoPro on the helmet and we'll do a little riding. You probably won't be able to hear my little nephew, Logan, uh, talking to me, but you'll be able to hear me talking to him and you'll kind of see how he reacts. Um, it's awesome. It's so awesome to be able to speak to him and he can speak to me without having to shut the four wheelers off. We can just talk, we can stop and talk or talk as we're riding. Um, I was kind of like giving him pointers how to do wheelies and stuff down in the pit here at Croom. And it was awesome not to have to get off my four wheeler and uh, give him pointers. He was able to just kind of listen to me as I was riding with him. It was really cool. Um, and when I got out of sight of him, if I was in the front, he could still hear me even if I'm out of sight, even if I'm out of his sight, he can still hear me. So if you have a kid you're riding with, uh, your son, your little daughter, whatever, um, or if you just have a group of, group of friends and you're riding on a long, you know, a long distance trail ride, uh, these are, these are awesome so far. And supposedly they have like a 12 hour battery life. Um, we started out with hundred percent. I don't know the, it, it talks to you and will tell you the percentage if you press the power button and we'll do that at the end of the day. We're, we're going to ride out here for the majority of the day. So I'll be able to give you guys an idea of what the battery life is like. Cause we've had the, the entire time these have been on, they've been linked up and we can talk, uh, between each other. The intercom has been on the entire time. We haven't disconnected the intercom. That's another cool thing. If you're riding with someone who talks a lot and you're done listening to them talk, you can just press the button and you're, you don't have to listen to them. <laughs> So that's cool. And then if you're listening to music, uh, say you're listening to music from your phone, you, you Bluetooth your phone, you're listening to music and your buddy intercoms you, it'll interrupt the music and, and the intercom will go. And then when you exit the intercom, the music will start playing again and you get the idea. But um, 150 bucks so far, so good. They charge up in like two hours from, from zero to full charge. And uh, you can easily remove everything. Everything's kind of Velcroed in. 
Um, you can easily unvelcro everything if you need to wash your helmet and then put it all back together. This this clips off here. Um, there is there's a clip-on mount, and then there's the stick-on mount, and uh, we tried to use the stick-on mounts. My helmet doesn't have much of a uh, shape to it right here, so it's stuck pretty good. Logan's has kind of a weird shape to it, so it, it I don't know if it'll stick long long term. We'll, we might have to switch to the clip on style, but um, we'll put the, link in the, description. the description, yeah, good, good call. So we'll put the link in the description for the Lexans. Um, this is good old Croom right here, kids right around in the parking lot. Um, got 2600 acres, but you got to rip around in the parking lot. Um, but anyway, so that's kind of it. I think we'll uh, we'll get some riding in, give it a review. What do you think? Yep, cool. All right, are you ready to go? Here. Yep, you're going. Hear me okay?
mine's a little loud too. They groomed this trail like three weeks ago. <laughs> not, not groom, groomed. You turning it up? Yeah. I can hear you perfectly. Yep, 
right? Right? <laughs> straight, straight. Yep, you got it, buddy. Give it a good rip around the circle. Nice. Anybody not familiar with Kroom, this is where a lot of people come to donate um, old parts that have failed on their ride. There's a lot of Banshee parts. <laughs> And, believe it or not, there's a 400EX head right there. I have yet to donate anything. I keep forgetting. I got a lot of parts I can put out here. Did we? Oh, yeah, we put your spring. Oh, there it is right there. I forgot. Peterson and Riggs. Are, uh, this was my sprocket that I kind of rounded over, the teeth over on. Forgot about that. Good call, Log. Well, I spoke too soon uh, with the broken parts. Logan just broke the tail light on his 250X. This is so nice. Someone's gonna try and someone's gonna try and steal this part. I bet, but it's all good. I'll wedge it in there a little bit. All right. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Good. I'm over here in this whooped out track. So bad.
too light. Yeah? You look good on it. <laughs> Pretty easy, huh? How you doing? How's the thumb throttle? How's the thumb throttle? Good.
Right, guys the GoPro battery's dead so I'm gonna use the phone here moment of truth it's about 130 145 Logan's battery is at 50% uh, but I think he started at 80% so mine started at 100 this morning I'm gonna turn it on and we're gonna see what the uh, yeah so we'll see what this says here So there you go, 80% after probably five or six hours of riding. So it's pretty good. <laughs> 